Right, so me and the bestie, I'm in the car. And we're going to have a look at a VFR. What's a VFR? Another motorbike. It sounded like a fart. Yeah, like a fart. <laughs> the chair squeaking. So what we're going to do? I've been playing with the idea of do I need to change bike? Just thinking for longer tours, is something like a VFR, a sports tour, going to be better suited for the riding position? Um, that's a bit what to get on. Let me just move that. That, that's the bit what's getting me is the riding position. I'm just thinking longer rides on the blade does my shoulder blades in so I'm gonna try I want to go and sit on one. Um, I will have, if I did go for a, a VFR, hold on mate, I'll have to part exchange the blade in and that's the bit what's that's the bit what's hurting. That's the painful bit because um, my intention was never to get rid of the blade. It only cost me a thousand pounds, so it's not exactly a massive bike. But um, the intention was I'd never get rid of it. That's the bike what started this journey, and what appeared from the very first video. So, but what I want to do, I want to go and sit on one. Oh, look at the camera bouncing around. I want to go and sit on one just to see if the position convinces me that yep, I need to do this. Yes, mate. Yeah, but what about if the seat is wet? No, it's inside. It's inside a shop, mate. Do you know what colour it is, the bike? No. Red. Like this? Yep, like your monster truck. You mean monster truck carrier? Your monster truck carrier, then. So, yeah, so I want to try the seating position. I want to see if this position, this VFR, is like, wow, it's mind-blowing. This is, you know, I'm out, oh, I don't know. I'm kind of open for this wow factor. But I'll just think I've got deep down inside. I'm not going to give up the fire blade. I think that's going to be my struggle. But yeah, let's go and see it. Now it's only up for 1800 quid, so it was a category C write off. Um, looking at it and speaking to the dealership, um, it had to have the fairings replaced on one side. Um, and from what I've read now, I think any bike over 10 years old is more or less an instant write off. Um, and I think that's just due to parts being able to locate and get parts for them. Um, so all this has had the plastic work done on it, um, which was quite a few years ago apparently according to the dealership. The bike's been being used for years on the road so he said it's a very clean bike. Comes with a warranty, service MOT, so I don't think there's anything to worry about. Um, what I'd probably have to do is just ease I'd part exchange the blade in. So if this is up for 1800 and I paid a grand for my blade, I'll bet that probably offer me nothing for the blade. That'll probably give me 500 quid. I don't think I'd even get a grand for it, so if that's the case, that's a no go. Because I ain't got another 1500 quid to put towards it, so. But I think I just need to get this in my head. I need to try the seat in position. I need to just confirm this with myself whether it's the right thing or um, I've put the post up in a few VFR 800 pages on Facebook and the response has been quite surprised quite a few people have said the VFR 800 is a lot heavier than the Fireblade which looking at it it is I think it's about about 23 kilograms different I think I don't know how much difference that is actually when you're on a bike. Would you really notice it? Probably stationary you might. Um, a few people have said because it's heavier it feels a bit more planted. So it is a bit more of a better ride. And, and quite a few have said um, the power difference will be the biggest shock. Obviously compared to the blade. No, I mean, yeah, mine's a 1995 blade so Mine ain't no super rocket, but it is a pokey little machine. But then again, I don't ride the bike flat out, and I'm not an aggressive rider, so I don't think that's an issue, personally, for me. And 
and then a few people have said the roided position is not that far off the fire blade. I think maybe the pegs are probably, I think your legs are a little bit more forward. I know the bars are a little bit higher, but is it going to make that much difference? So that's the thing, and if I chop in the blade and then regret it. Oh. Anyway, we'll go and sit on it. Let's just confirm that part first, whether it feels massively different. Bestie. Yes, mate. But can I sit on the back? Yes. Say so, so. See you later when we make the bike. See you later when we make the bike. Boom shakala. Boom shakala. You pigeons. You pigeons. So here we are. Let's go and have a look at this bike. Just in case, I'll just hit the back hole and then I'll drop some of it on the floor. straight away in the bar so I mean that's what I'm suffering at the minute is long distance I'm getting it in the back off the blade yeah you can sit sitting up straight there just uh, just beware of the bar yeah. side to side yeah, yeah I will do oh, right. can I go on the back dad um, Right, so we've just been in to see the VFR, the red one. Um, yeah, it's not it's not immaculate, but for 1800 quid, I suppose it's not going to be. He's just got another one in, an 05 plate, um, a silver one. And that one's got full luggage on it, top box and the side panels. I think that's going to be up for about 2.6. Beautiful looking bike, that one is. That one is um, spotless. But yeah, so um, the riding position, massive, 
massive difference that is. That was a really, really nice riding position. It felt comfortable. And the bike did feel heavier straight away getting on it. So now, oh no, I'm even more confused because it felt nice, but I don't want to get rid of the blade. Oh, what should we do, Trent? I don't know. New bike or keep the bike we got? Keep the bike, what we've got. Oh, why do you like the one we've got? Because it looks even better than the one that we've got. It looks even better. It does look bad, doesn't it, my blade? Oh, I don't know what to do. But, so I've done it, I've confirmed the riding position, which was the main thing I wanted to try. Um, and a few people said there's not that much difference between that and a blade. I felt there was a massive difference between that and the blade. But, We need to think. If you're going to be doing more touring and further, the blade ain't going to be the baby for it. So basically, I need 2,600 quid and I can buy the VFR and keep the blade. I think I better put myself on the streets. Right, that's it for now. It's still unconfirmed. So, what do you guys think? Blade, VFR. And have you got either? What do you like about it? What's the cons? What goes for it? What goes against it? From both VFR and Blade. And is there anybody out there what's got the both? An old Blade and a VFR. Should be nice to get some other thoughts on it. Right, we're going. Say bye-bye. Bye. 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 bye.